Hi there, this is Meg from AIM Fitness Online. Thank you for joining me. I'm here with little Fit Finley who's having his normal snooze and we are gonna get moving. Now today's exercise video is focusing on balance. We're gonna be using weights, so get those weights. And then we'll be doing some stretches, right? Kind of along right in the middle of uh, the whole video. So we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna move our bodies and I'm so glad you're here with me today. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna take those legs nice and wide. We're gonna have like a really nice flow to our workout today. So we're gonna start by lifting your heel, reaching those arms, taking it side to side. So this is a good video if you are finding that you wanna work on your flexibility, if you're finding that you want to build some strength and challenge that balance at the same time. All right, so what we'll do here is you can choose to continue to lift just your heel or lift that full foot, full leg off the floor. All right, let's really reach, stretch. Now I don't have a chair close to me today, but if you do find that you like to have a chair handy in case you wanna hold on, then be sure to have that beside you as well. All right. Let's do a few more, two more, and one. All right, and then we're gonna take one leg in front of the other. Make sure you have a, a large stance here, bend those knees, squeeze those shoulder blades back together. Good. You can take your arms a little bit wider if you'd like. Breathing in and out. All right, now if you really wanna challenge your balance as we go through these exercises, what will uh, make it more challenging is to have one foot directly in front of the other. So you'll notice that uh, as you do this, you may feel a little bit more wobbly, but uh, it will challenge you. If you wanna give yourself a bit of a break, have your legs a bit wider, about as wide as your hips as we do these movements. And uh, you'll feel a little bit more stable like that, or you can go somewhere in between. All right, good, now let's do one more here, and let's change sides. So opposite leg in front, good, bend those knees a little bit, reach, and squeeze your shoulder blades back. All right, awesome. All right, so this month we are focusing on creating new habits and really refocusing your health for the new year. So this is a good time to really think about why are you exercising regularly? And not only why, but what are those improvements that you're hoping to see? So if you like to journal, I do encourage you to journal about those two questions or just give it some thought. Because when we are intentional about what we do and as we exercise, really thinking about what we're doing, that's when you're going to notice those improvements and that's when you're going to really feel proud of yourself for sticking to your plan. All right, awesome. Now let's take those legs nice and wide. All right, and we're gonna be lifting that leg. And as we do, we're gonna reach those arms a little bit higher than normal. So you'll notice my feet are, uh, are, are pointing to the front of the room. This is a good one for the hips. All right, so we're strengthening up our hips and our outer thighs. Breathing in and out. All right, good. Now we're going to keep that leg up, keep it lifted. Let's reach the arms up and then bend your elbows. Pull those arms down. And now keep that foot flexed. That will engage that leg a little bit more as you hold it here. Good. One more time. Reach and pull. Let's do the other side. Lift, shift that weight over to this leg. Flex that foot. Reach and pull for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, lower that leg, good. Take the legs nice and wide and we're gonna be taking it side to side for a nice stretch. Good, now make sure those legs are wider than your shoulders. Give yourself lots of space. All right, 
Great. Awesome. Okay, so let's move to a few exercises with the weights. All right, now we're gonna go back to our positioning with one leg in front of the other. Remember, more challenging if it's directly in front, a little easier if it's a little bit wider, or find somewhere in between. We're gonna bend those knees and we're gonna start with a nice easy bicep curl. Straighten the arms and lift up to the side. So curling up, lower down and then lift up, no higher than your shoulders. Awesome. Now as we're doing these exercises, we're gonna do between 12 and 15 repetitions. And what you wanna pay attention to is as soon as you hit 10, 11, 12, is it a little bit harder? Do you notice that your arms have to work a little bit more? If the answer is yes, then you're probably using a good weight for you. But if it's easy, you could do about 20, 30 repetitions, no problem. And it means it's time to go and purchase a new set of weights that are a little heavier in order to keep you challenged, but also to keep those muscles working and improving your upper body strength. Okay, let's keep on breathing in and out. Good, two more. Last one here. All right, awesome. So we'll keep those weights right here. You can take that back leg. We're going to lift up and then take that back leg and move into a bit of a lunge. So if you want to hold on to a chair, you might want to lower those weights, but you can keep those weights here at your side if you'd like. So lift the knee up, tighten your core, and then take a step back. Keep your back heel off the floor as you bend both knees. All right, good, it's so moving into a lunge. Good way to strengthen those legs. Two more. And one. All right, awesome. Let's change legs. Bring the other leg back, bend those knees, and we're gonna change those arms up. This time, adding an overhead press and then moving into a crossover punch. All right, so pressing up overhead. Good, and then adding that punch. Tightening your core for this one. All right, nicely done. Right, good. Notice how your balance is as you're doing this. You can always challenge yourself a little bit more. If so, take a little pause, maybe bringing one foot directly behind the other. Even standing with your feet closer is good too. Challenge yourself. Bend those knees if you're, especially for this one, as you cross, you wanna go a little slower, make sure your core is engaged. Nicely done. Good, we'll do a few more. You may feel your legs wobbling. <laughs> All right, good. Let's do three more of each. And two. And, woo, and one. All right, awesome. Good, let's set those weights to the side. All right, good. Now we're gonna bring one leg in front of the other. We're gonna be squeezing those shoulder blades back as you lift that front toe and then lift your back heel. And make sure you've got lots of space between those legs. So adding a good stretch, especially for your upper body, improving that posture. All right, now the next option here is to lift the knee and kick that back leg back, bending at the knee. 
everything in and out. All right, good, let's go for three, two, and one. Let's hold it here, lean the one leg against the other, bring your arms up overhead, press your hands in together, tighten that core. We'll hold it here. Three deep breaths. Two. And one. Good, lower the arms. So that leg was in front. Let's take that leg back, switching sides. Arms nice and wide and give yourself a hug. Lifting the back heel and then lifting the front toe. All right, now I do encourage you to snack on exercise throughout the day. And these are some really nice flowy stretches that you can do. And I do suggest doing these maybe in the kitchen if you have a counter or if you have a little bit more space in one of your rooms so you won't knock anything down. <laughs> Good, let's continue with the knee lift in front and then kick the back leg behind you. Inhale, engaging the core, that will help us. Good. Two more. And one. And let's lift that front leg, hold it here, lean it against that other leg. And then we're gonna circle your wrists. Think of it really bringing those shoulders back. Standing nice and tall. Squeezing your glutes and engaging your core will help too. And let's hold it for three, two, and one. All right, awesome. Now we're gonna work on a bit of flexibility for the back of those legs next. So what we'll do is we're gonna, we're gonna reach your arms up, inhale up. And as you exhale, reach for your knees, and then we're just gonna be leaning over, but keeping your back nice and straight. Keep it flat. Now you can bend your knees just a little bit here. Let's rise up, reach up, and then lean over, bending at your waist to stretch the back of the legs. All right, here we go. Reaching up, inhale, and then exhale. And again, up. And over. Good. So continue with this one, especially if you have osteoporosis. It's good, to, it's okay to hinge at your hips, but try to keep your back nice and straight. Now, if you want to go a little further, take your legs wide and let's lean over and reach down. And see if you can touch the floor between those legs. Now, try to keep the legs straight. So if you need to, you may have to take your legs a bit wider, especially if you have long legs. All right, so up, inhale and exhale down. Good, one more time, up. And then we're gonna hold it here. So just let your body relax, let your head relax. Notice the stretch right in the back of the legs. And reaching for the floor. And then let's slowly come on up. All right, good, now let's walk it out. Got to bring that blood flow back down towards your feet. All right. Very good. All right, now grab one weight. We're going to do just a few more exercises here. I'm going to do a few standing exercises for your core. So what I want you to do is I want you to bend those knees, toes facing the front of the room. You can hold on to that weight like this. And we're going to be taking it side to side. What I want you to do is I want you to tighten up that core. Now, if you've osteoporosis, you'll see what I'm doing here. Look forwards and just take the weight from hip to hip. All right, now if you don't have osteoporosis, you can add a little bit more of a rotation. And I want you to tighten up your core every time you go this way. Relax your core when you go that way. So tighten and relax the core out. Breathing in, tighten. Breathe out, relax. Good. 
Awesome, let's do a few more. Good, now challenge. Bring one foot right in front of the other and let's continue. All right, side to side. Okay, this time tightening up this way, relaxing your core out this way. Breathe in, tighten, breathe out, relax. Helps to bend your knees. Good. Two more. And one. All right, very good. That's great. Now we're gonna do one more here for the arms and your core. Let's hold on to this weight. Now with one arm, we're gonna take that arm out to the side. And as you bring it in, let's lift the opposite knee. Take that arm nice and wide, lift the knee, tighten the core. Breathing in and out, place your hand on the hip on the side. Good job. All right, for the last five, we're gonna hold that knee up. Let's lift that leg nice and high, keep it lifted. Just focusing on the arm and balance. Two more. And one. Good, lower that leg. And then we'll do the same thing again. Let's lift and lower. Five more. And three. Two. And one. Good, that's great. Now let's hold on with both hands, take the legs a bit wider, stretch it out. Good. Keeping the weight from hip to hip. All right, awesome. All right, we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna hold on with this hand, opposite leg. So here we go. Let's have that arm out and then lift that knee. Hand on your hip. Tighten up that core as you lift. Breathing in and breathing out. Good, for the next five, let's keep that knee lifted, just the arm. Standing nice and tall, good, steady breathing, two more, and one, good, let's do a few more here, last five, lifting the knee, lowering the knee, four, three, two, and one. All right, amazing. Lower that weight. All right, good job. Let's circle those shoulders backwards. All right, that's awesome. I hope you're feeling really good. We're gonna end with just a few stretches here. Take those legs nice and wide. Good, we're gonna be reaching your arms to the side. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. Let's do this again. Squeeze back again, and we'll do the other side. Bend into the knee, good. Bring the shoulders back. One more time. Okay, bring those feet in together. Good, we're gonna pedal out those feet, so lifting those heels, and reach the arms. One arm right across. Let's keep those feet moving. And circle this ankle, keep those heels lifting. And let's do the other side. Arm across. Circle the ankle, or the wrist rather. <laughs> the wrist. Good. And let's finish off with some breathing. Let's reach up, inhale, look up and exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. One more time. 
All right, give yourself a big hug and a pat on your back. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our workout and I am excited to see you again in another video. All right, you take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Meg Stickle from AIM Fitness and this is Fit Finley. And we hope you enjoyed this video brought to you by Macaw. Now make sure to check out the other videos on their website. And if you're looking for more exercise videos with me, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, Activities in Motion, AIM Fitness. We hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you in another video soon. Bye.